For many years, people have started to live in a new world, the internet. It is not a real world, but a virtual one. We spend more and more time there every day. We do many things there, like working, studying, and having fun. We also have our personal information there, our addresses, our credit cards. We communicate with our friends there using different ways, like writing, sending pictures, and video chatting. We do many things online now, the internet is a big part of our lives. We share our lives with the internet. But can we trust the internet, when it is now getting more intelligent? How will countries manage artificial intelligence, when there are so many new technologies today? Artificial intelligence is changing the world. How will countries control it? How will they keep their people safe? We don't have the answers yet. But in this show, we will talk about new technologies and, of course, artificial intelligence. We will also talk about safety, which is very important and serious today. What are the potential dangers? We will talk about these topics today and try to find the answers with our esteemed expert. We have a very important guest today. He is an expert on artificial intelligence. He came to Istanbul to speak at Turkey Innovation Week 2023. He has closely followed the development of AI and has written extensively about it. He also gives TV interviews in different parts of the world, at the same time, he has given speeches to audiences in dozens of counties. Let's welcome Edgar Perez. We consider ourselves the only intelligent beings in the world. Now, with artificial intelligence, are we at the stage where machines also have the capacity to think? The headlines produced by the release of ChatGPT, a revolutionary product from OpenAI, have led us to believe that we already have thinking machines. That is not exactly the case. On November 30, 2022, ChatGPT stunned the world with its sophisticated conversational skills. ChatGPT runs on GPT 3.5, a large language model, LLM, that can produce natural text based on context in previous conversations. ChatGPT has been trained on a massive amount of data, covering almost all public information available online. This makes it a remarkable achievement in the field of generative AI. However, manipulating multimodal data does not imply that ChatGPT can build a mental model of the world, which is essential for developing intelligence. People are saying that the next stage for mankind is not just artificial intelligence, but artificial general intelligence. They say artificial intelligence is based on data, but that artificial general intelligence is based on facts. What is the difference between these two concepts? First of all, let's talk about our intelligence. Human intelligence is the product of a long evolutionary process that spans billions of years. It is unmatched by any AI system that exists today. The current state of AI is comparable to the intelligence of cats. Humans have the ability to master various tasks. A 12-month-old baby can already speak a few words, walk a few steps, and identify different animals. These are distinct skills that require different types of intelligence. A machine that can perform a range of skills would be an example of artificial general intelligence AGI. Today's AI is limited and focused on narrow tasks, while AGI would be flexible and capable of broad tasks. The key difference between AI and AGI is the level and generality of intelligence. AI depends on data, meaning that it needs large amounts of information to learn and improve its performance. AGI would rely on facts, meaning that it would understand and use real-world knowledge to reason and solve problems. People are also talking about the threats. They claim that the threat of artificial intelligence is real. Even Sam Altman, OpenAI's CEO, has said that it is necessary to pay attention to risks related to large-scale disinformation facilitated by the use of artificial intelligence and the relationship between artificial intelligence and humans. Are there sufficient grounds for this? AI is often feared by some people, but it is not the real danger. The true menace is natural stupidity. We should remember that. An ancient example of a technology that humans learn to control is fire. Many people were scared of fire, thinking it would destroy our civilization. But fire was a huge advancement for humanity. It gave us food, energy, light, and more. Unfortunately, fire also caused accidents. That's why we created rules and regulations to reduce the harm it could do. AI is no different. It is already used in many domains, and it can bring us many benefits. Why should we see it as a threat, instead of an opportunity? 
Cars are another example of a technology that changed our lives. They were invented more than 200 years ago, but they became popular when Henry Ford introduced mass production. Do you know when car insurance became mandatory in the US? Mid 1970s. It took time to understand the type of regulation that was needed to prevent accidents. AI is developing fast today. We don't know what the future will bring. But we should focus on creating basic regulation around accuracy and accountability. That way, we can ensure that AI is safe and reliable. What about the relation between AI safety and developers' progress? Many governments, such as the United States and China, worry about how safe and secure AI systems are. What is the concern of the politicians? AI safety refers to the measures taken to ensure that AI systems align with human values and avoid causing harm or unintended consequences. While some believe that prioritizing safety may impede innovation, others argue that ignoring it could result in disastrous outcomes or AI misuse. Politicians are concerned about the potential impact of AI on society. For example, AI can be used to generate or manipulate media, potentially creating misinformation. AI systems may also amplify human biases and prejudices, and produce unfair outcomes or decisions. Additionally, AI systems may operate in opaque or unpredictable ways, making it difficult to understand or explain their behavior or outcomes. Furthermore, there are fears that AI could eventually surpass human intelligence and become autonomous, posing an existential threat. However, current development is still far from achieving such capabilities. How could we address these political concerns? Shouldn't members of our society be able to recognize and balance the benefits and risks of AI, and ensure that it serves the common good? The political concerns raised by artificial intelligence are not insurmountable, but they require a concerted effort from all parties involved in the AI ecosystem. A key element of this effort is to cultivate a culture of awareness and responsibility among developers, users, policymakers, and the public. Just as we have learned to adapt to and regulate the automobile industry, which has transformed our society and economy, we can also harness the potential of AI while mitigating its risks. To achieve this, countries should collaborate on establishing a common regulatory framework that governs the development, deployment, and use of AI systems, and ensures their accuracy, accountability, and alignment with human values. Moreover, education and awareness are essential for empowering every member of society to comprehend the opportunities and challenges posed by AI applications, and to make informed and critical decisions about them. By fostering such a culture, we can enable a more equitable and beneficial use of AI across all sectors and domains of society. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We really appreciate your positive perspective. It means a lot. Thank you. It's an honor to talk to you. My pleasure.